while Caesar may be an excellent character, you actually don't want her. And here's why. She does buff the entire team, in fact. She gives everybody a very strong shield. She has her own parry system, and she can work as a stunner. But hold on. Let me ask you something. Are you someone who likes a challenge? Are you someone who likes to have that risk? You want for things to be difficult, yes? Come with me. By any chance, have you experienced the Disputed Node? Does that ring a bell? The Disputed Node was a mode that is permanent in the game. And on the eighth stage, you went against this gentleman here, the Rampant Brute. This by no means was an easy task. As a matter of fact, if this gentleman hit you at least one time, you were very likely to be dead. This was difficult, but with Caesar's help, it'll be very easy. In fact, too easy, I'd like to argue. So easy to the point where you won't have that challenge that you want. Not only will she protect you and not have you die in one hit, but she'll also buff you, which means you'll remove the Shellman even faster than you would before. You're doing more damage to him and you can tank more damage from him. In fact, yes, I myself have also experienced this. And at the time of its release, all we had was Ben as our defensive character. And as you can see, no Ben was used. That experience left me in awe because this was actually difficult. Do you want all difficulty to be removed? If you don't, I recommend steering clear from Caesar King. The game's content is only going to get more and more difficult as time goes on. Do you really want that difficulty to be watered down by the likes of Caesar? No, you want to dodge, you want to counter, you want to feel like your life is at stake when you're fighting these battles. And that's why, if you're planning to skip Caesar, perhaps you may not regret it. For all of you Miyabi savers, just think about it. You can have the most powerful, wide-eyed fox in your arsenal if you just keep saving. Broken support, not balanced, no dodge showcase, most broken agent. Dare he say it, she's too strong. Do not fall for the false advertisement. Maybe perhaps later in the patch, you're thinking about pulling bald <clears throat> fur knees, excuse me. And to that I say, look at the photo. What you see in those trailers is not actually what you're going to get. May I remind you, they're actually giving away a free Lucy in 1.2. With your free Lucy, why do you even need Bernice? The definition of being efficient and keeping your polychromes to yourself. Soldier 11 havers, Kaleida havers, you have plenty of fire. If you have neither one of them, once again, your free Lucy is on the horizon. You do not need to fall for any traps. Speaking of traps, rat. Don't fall for the rat trap. And if you have already, she doesn't need to have Bernice. She can do everything she needs to do on her own. And no, I did not fall for Jane. I just have research purposes. Who says your anomaly has to be fire? Your anomaly is right here. There's Piper. And to heck, Piper, Lucy, Caesar, Bernice, Sons of Calidon. You don't care about the Sons of Calidon. You don't even know what happens in the Outer Ring. We're a new Eridu. New Eridu is the people, the Section 6, the crew that we know. We've talked to them before. Let me ask you, what characters were you going to pair with Bernice? What team? Hmm? No answer? There you go. No reason to pull for Bernice and no reason to pull for Caesar. You have just came to the conclusion that you'll be saving every last polychrome in 1.2 for something that you want even more so. All right, that about does it. There's a reason to not pull for Caesar or Bernice in 1.2 and save your... <sighs> Glad that's over with. <sighs> Caesar, there's enough of us in here as it is. And you're wearing shoes again. <sighs> What's the big deal? We're all... You know what? I take back everything I said. <laughs>